Good morning, Lead Empowered. Here we are in the garden, and I just wanted to give you guys some updates and show you how things are growing and what we are picking and encourage you uh, to get your fall garden going. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, okay, so I showed you last time the raspberries are done, but I wanted to, I haven't given you really an update on this This is the goji berries and they are doing really well uh, They are more long and stringy than I thought they were gonna be I know there's gonna be more of a I Shouldn't say that I know there should be like a stalk like a trunk and then they're gonna kind of waterfall out um, I've never really seen them grow before but yeah, they grow kind of tall like this I don't know it's super interesting but we are getting blackberries oh no they're looking a little shriveled some of these are um, so we should be picking these more but it is these blackberries are so good they seriously taste like candy um, my sunflowers are dying and some of these plants, man, I'm just trying to baby them to health and hope they come back next year. These are the honeyberries. Um, they are looking a little bit sad. So, I'm hoping that a good mulch this fall will help them come back. We are getting ready to extract honey. So, we're thinking you need a hot room to do it and it helps the honey flow better. I'm thinking I'm going to take out the hay bales and this trellis in the middle and set up a table and be able to spin it in there because it will be warm in there. Our pumpkins, I'm shocked at, for some reason, like it seems like all our pumpkins turned orange in the last week, but pumpkins are coming. Um, see that all the sunflowers up there are dying. Um, we collected over 10, no, almost 10 pounds of tomatoes yesterday. And there is more to be picked today. This is so cool. Um, so if you have any ideas what to do with tomatoes, my husband's going to pickle some. Uh, we want to make some sauce. Tomato sauce. This is insane. Which is a what I wanted. I love tomatoes. Um, something crazy is actually, I didn't know that I didn't think that I liked just plain tomatoes until I had them from my friend's garden a couple years ago. And now, um, I love them. So we picked a couple crookneck squash the other day, guys. Look at the bees. This makes me so happy. Oh, they also picked the first cucumber the other day. My husband and my daughter. Um, we got a couple cucumbers growing. Oh, there was another one down here. I need to pick it. Um, these pickling cucumbers. You gotta pick them when they're really small. So, otherwise it tells the plant to turn off and stop. Oh, I see another one back there. Uh, right so I gotta come out here and see what's growing. All the, the bees are just loving this section of patch though. Um, this, I think it's probably time to pick a couple of spaghetti squash and I need to deep water these trees. I don't know if you can see there, just some of those leaves are turning kind of yellow. They just, this needs a deep soak. Um, this section, I haven't even been over here a long time. Um, so whatever is growing over here is really just getting what it needs from the outdoor, like rain or whatever. Um, probably should water it. Ah, oh, see, there's a couple of strawberries coming. I don't know if I showed you guys this last time. We were getting flowers again, and I don't know if it's a different variety of strawberry. There's some over there too. Um, cause I know there's ever bearing and then there's like June berries or something. And so that is so exciting. Okay. We did just plant a bunch of, uh, fall stuff. So we got a bunch of beets in here. We got spaghetti squash and crookneck squash, which are like 
no, no, not spaghetti squash. Crick neck squash is like 41, 45 days. And zucchinis are 51 days. So um, we did just plant a bunch of stuff. And we pulled out a bunch of sunflowers, but you can see there's still, there's some more ready to get pulled out. This tomato's looking really sad. But a lot of these are looking really good. These are the um, pear tomatoes. And I just picked one this morning. So we're going to start seeing stuff pop up again. Uh, I did see some flowers out here when I was watering this morning. On these strawberries. Yeah, there's a couple strawberries in there. So hopefully we'll get a few more strawberries this year. My zucchini have really not done a lot. But I did see a good one in there this morning. Um, we've only gotten like three zucchinis this year. Which is really un... Uh, a lot, a lot of people's, if you can't grow anything, you can grow zucchini. But you see all those? Those are pear um, tomatoes. I'm really excited about those. Um, this tomato is doing amazing. I don't know what variety this is, but I did just pick one this morning. There, it was about this size and red. So we'll see what comes from that. I did just chop a bunch of herbs also. So this is the um, spearmint and then lemon balm and... So that stuff's all drying in the kitchen. Um, someone said potatoes are soon, picking potatoes. This is my first year doing potatoes, so we're just gonna, we're just rolling with it. Um, oh, this is a kale. Uh, I didn't know he was growing over here. Um, that lettuce came back, that's awesome. My husband just picked two cabbages from over here. I showed you the cabbages a couple weeks ago. And um, he's been putting them in our dinner. Okay, my phone died this morning, but I wanted to finish up showing you. These are the herbs that I cut last week. And I'm going to show you the starts for the fall garden. It's a little bit dark, but it's so funny how excited I get about all this stuff because you put seeds in the ground to grow. I don't know what else I'm expecting, but um, I'm always just so excited. You can see these are reaching for the light. So... I'm probably going to have to up pot them or put another light over here or do something different. But seriously, these peas, you can go back and look in the other video. I showed you how the peas were just so uh, developed. I went ahead and popped that open and literally just put the seeds straight in here. I didn't let them dry or anything. I just put them back in the soil. Um, these are cucumbers. And then there's some new stuff I have never done before. That pepper crust is right here. And then... Uh, the mustard came up, which I don't know that my mustard came up when I direct sowed it this time. And then I do have root, uh, the rutabaga, which is the purple top turnip and the calabari. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff coming up. Um, I'm still not seeing the lettuce seeds, which is the furthest thing back there. Um, which I planted lettuce three times this year and none of them came up. So I'm wondering if the seeds somehow are no good, which I shouldn't be surprised if they are. They're old, and who knows. Um, but anyways, that's super exciting. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it up for today, and I hope that you are encouraged and inspired that yeah, it's not too late to grow something for this year. And I just went to a friend's house today, and she showed me her indoor hydroponic system. Gorgeous. And, um, you know, she made a comment. She's just one of my neighbors, and I don't know her super well, but she made a comment about you know, having a little hesitation to showing me because just being a little self-conscious about uh, what I might think about it and then uh, you know because she was an outdoor gardening and uh, and that's what we've connected on in the past and I said and she's like but I knew you weren't like that and so I just want to encourage you to start wherever you're at if that is indoor gardening if that's uh, you know what we also saw one of our neighbors had all his stuff in containers totally different than the way I gardened but it's equally as good and it's a different skill set there's different things to know about doing it differently and um it's all valuable if you're growing food if you're growing plants it's valuable so don't discount what you're doing as any less than someone else and uh just keep pressing on so i'm excited for all your gardens and lead empowered